All right, Ryan, pressure's on. Ben's already in the NHL. And one son. you got two more sons in junior who are uh, young phenoms. This tight turns. Uh, tell us what you're looking for here. Yeah, you know, something, Ron, that we see, and, and I give uh, an old friend of mine, Dwayne Laudermuck, a lot of credit. And 20 years ago, he was teaching this. But, you know, when we do a tight turn, the, the tendency, and we teach this, is to turn the, the, you know, the hand so that you can keep, when you're turning, you keep your stick in that position. What we see some of the greatest players in the world do is, is push their hand off of their knee. And on that tight turn, what that does is cups the stick. So they can, the difference is, Ron, right here. Yep. If you and I have got our hands like this, we can't pass or shoot when we come out of that turn. But when we're down here, you watch Sackick, you watch guys like Demarcus Nazan. They're here, they come out of that turn, they can pass or shoot. Well, that's key to what we're trying to do. I'll give you uh, the first crack at a take. All right. I'll lead you on, and then we'll try and we'll eventually go in and take one shot here. And I'll go nice and slow here, so I'm going to get it here, push it down here to bring it around, okay? And push it down, that's it, nice. And then I'm going to go at the cone, push down, turn, and get my shot. Whoa, Ty, you're a good man. That's fine. <laughs> need a little Sorry, Ty, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's speed now. Good job, guys. Good work. Good work. Good timing. Nice. Great pivot. BBC.ca slash think hockey for more. Back on Think Hockey with Drew Remenda, who's a right-hand shot, but you're going to play as a left winger here, Drew, to show us a, a typical play that the Strucks worked on every day in practice. Every single day. You're in defensive zone coverage, and you're in. You've got the pressure on, pop those in the corner, change of possession. Okay? So you're a winger. What you want to do right away is you read the defenseman. You want to get available and get open for a pass. Okay? So a lot of times, a direct, direct pass, direct tape to tape pass is not available. Defenseman's under pressure. He has to limit. So, what I'm going to do as a winger, I'm going to get over to the boards, but I have to read two things first. Number one, where's my pressure coming from? Do I have a pinching defenseman? How do I play that if I do? And if i got support, where's my support? So what you want to do is you want to try to take it one motion, stick up against the boards, get away from the boards. Get your stick jammed up against there, 90 degree angle, pick the puck up, and then you can start moving in one motion, you get the pressure, bank it up off the boards, and then get on the attack. Remember, guys, you want to open up and get available for that pass first and play the rim. Here we go, gang. Here we go. Open up. Get available. One smooth motion. Good rim. Well done. Pick it up off the pressure. Go by him. Great job. Great job. Stop on the play. Well done. Good job. Rolling puck at all. CBC.ca slash Pinkock for more. Back with Brian Murray on Think Hockey. The simplest little drill. Two forwards, going to be one pass behind the net, and then back out to the shooter. Santo, you be ready. Manny and Joe are going to show you this stuff here. Go ahead, Manny. Okay, Brian. This little drill, Ottawa does it. It's a great drill. What are we trying to do? Well, number one, we have a number of players involved. It's a drill, a lot of activity, lots of shots. Great work out for the goaltender. Laying the puck in, forcing him to move his feet, go retrieve it, make a play, get back into a spot. The good goal scorers at our level in the NHL will come out a little higher into a softer area because of, in a lot of occasions will be a defender. Minor hockey guys may come out into this area, Ron, where it's you know, 8, 10 feet from the front of the net. But basically what we're trying to do is get lots of reps in, and encourage the player to shoot to a spot to try to score a goal. You're always, what, one shot top, one shot low? I really think it's important for players to have favorite shots and spend time repeating on a regular basis that particular shot. I really like Mike Bossy, low, stick side corner, and whatever gold enter he was against, Brandon Shanahan, get the puck under the crossbar on a consistent basis. And it doesn't happen by accident. It happens because they practice. Good. Yep. Lay the puck. Good pass. See your partner. Take your time. Hold the puck. Make a good pass to him. Make a spot. All right. Get this stuff out here. Get this stuff out. Take a look. Good play. 
Și vă citați ei, faci de clas. What, what is the skill set that they're working on? Well, really, what cycling is a puck possession part of the game. Whereas uh, when we're in the zones offensively, we want to be in a position where we can create lanes or scenes to attack the net. When that forward swings through the uh, corner over there, obviously the defenseman goes with them, so they can just dump it to a yeah. and like a football yeah. receiver, come to the puck. Yeah. We want to put pucks to an area where we know support is coming. And again, it's a collaboration of the two forwards to be in a position be in a position to isolate an outnumber the uh, defensive player and again creating lanes or scenes. And again, it's difficult to defend, especially when you have players who are uh, strong and fast who can come off the wall with speed. And again, that's the whole key, key is pick off the board, beat the defender to the net and create scoring chances. What's the hardest part to master in that? I think the hardest part to master is the collaboration between the two uh, players. The second player really has to read off that first player and know that he's under pressure and know he's in position that he could lose possession of the puck and we don't want to do that. So he's got to read and move his feet and think about what he has to do to get to an area to support the puck. The second uh, example we're doing here is uh, now we're in a situation where we take pressure up the wall and we're going to do a long cycle, hopefully get it to the back of the net. And when you get to the back of the net and you watch a lot in playoff hockey uh, this past year about teams using the back of the net, changing sides to create a situation where defensive coverage breaks down. And so in this example here, we're doing a long reverse, player's going back post and he's in a position now to step out either side. Again, this player here, hard to the net for a rebound. So the key and the tip is to spread defensive zone coverage out and be in a position to attack low or to make a pass high for a shot. Okay, pressure lab, let's go! Oh! CBC Docs Nays, Flash 6 Docs! Oh! Back on Think Hockey with Ron Davidson and the heel push, Ron. So as many times in the game, Ron, when a player wants to generate speed and has both skates on the ice, when he's doing a tight turn, if he's battling for possession in a corner, just before making, making contact with the player when you want stability. And the key to generating speed with both skates on the ice is by pushing the ice with your heel and being in proper body position. So I can generate a lot of speed simply by driving with my heel with my inside edge on the outside skate and being in good body position. And the way that players can learn how to use the heel push is by just getting a stick, putting it down on the ice, getting in proper body position with the deep knee bend, back straight, turning their foot out, pushing with the heel, extending their leg, and bringing their feet right underneath them again. So I drive the ice with my heel and bring my feet together. Now when I add my hands, as if I'm in a tight turn, then I really develop some momentum and I generate some glide along with the heel push. We're going to race to that. How's that sound, you guys? Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to find out who the best heel pusher is, who the fastest skater with both skates on the ice is in this group. It's a simple drill. It's called the rodeo. Here's how it works. On the charge whistle, you take off as fast as you can. Both skates on the ice. You're once around the ice when you get back to where you started. You stop and kneel down. Are you ready? Fast, take hockey!